Hey guys, so today I'm sitting down with my coffee and I am just going to do the most laid back, chill, chatty video ever. Mm. You guys always laugh at me when I drink out of my big giant mugs. Yeah, they're huge, but that's how much coffee I need. So I'm gonna go do my makeup. I'm actually going to the veterinary hospital that I used to work at today. It, it's relatively close to my house and I'm gonna go take a Christmas photo for them. They Every year I take their Christmas photo because they send out Christmas cards to all their clients and stuff like that. And so this year is no different. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. It's about 9.30 a.m. right now and I have to be there at 11.30. So it gives us plenty of time to chat and hang out, doesn't it? I'm, you know, I'm not gonna talk about what I'm going in with. You guys have seen my recent videos and you kind of know what I'm into and what I'm using, but I just wanna chat and not talk about makeup today. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And it's a lovely day, beautiful, blue skies, sunshine, awesome. I wanted to sit on camera today and just talk about what's been going on recently. There's a few things I'll talk about soon that I could talk about now, but I'm just giving it a moment. No, I'm not pregnant. I know that some people are gonna immediately jump to that. No, no, no. So a couple weeks ago, I was walking around my house and I was looking at all the extra PR and stuff that I had laying around that I wanted to do giveaways and stuff with. And I was just feeling overwhelmed with it all and I was looking at how I just don't have my shit together at all like legitimately at all and I was actually hanging out with Sam Samantha Ravendahl you guys know her so I had a conversation with her a while back and she mentioned this to me and then uh, did I listen to her no but I did now so we're gonna get into that we're chatting about how I am just feeling really almost overwhelmed and lost in many ways. Not not lost, but like sometimes you just feel a little directionless. I've talked to you guys about this before. And she was talking to me about some things that have really helped her. And I believe she did a video about this. Did I listen to the video? Well, I am now, but I didn't until recently. Can't remember what the video was called. Let me look it up. Maybe it was her self-care 101, how I somewhat keep it together video. I think that might be it. So I'm gonna put that down below because that might be helpful. Essentially, I've talked to her personally about this as well. And it was all about getting your shit together, getting your life together and things that can help you feel like less weighed down and stuff like that in life by just implementing a few of these, you know, key things. And so I never really listened to her. While the tips were awesome, I was always feeling like, ah, that's not gonna help me, that's not me. I'll get to these in a minute, but I wanna explain who I am as a person. You guys probably know this about me, but you know, maybe you don't. So my entire life, from the time I was born until now, I've been a serial procrastinator. I don't know why I'm like that. I don't know why I put everything off to the last minute. And it's not always just putting it off to the last minute. It's not like coming from a bad place. It's usually me thinking, okay, well, it's not due till Friday. Well, then I've got till Friday. But then Thursday rolls around and I'm like, oh my God, I haven't even started it. What do I do? And so I work really well under pressure generally. So I have always, I mean, in school with projects, when I was young, with practicing for the talent show, it's everything. I'm always one of those people that puts it off, not because I'm lazy or for any specific reason, but because I just am one of those people. I put it off to the last minute and then I stress out about it and then I stay up and I work on it and it always has worked out for me. And I think that's why maybe I still continue to do it because it's always been fine. Nothing bad has ever come from it, basically. Like it's always worked out for me to kind of put things off because the work always gets done. It just gets done with me stressing, you know? It really doesn't hurt anybody else because as far as they knew, the work got done on time. True, but for me, yes, the work got done, but I had to rush it, I had to stress about it, I had to feel like things were, you know, falling behind, I had to stay up really late. It's just one of those things. That's the kind of person that I've always been. And it's always been fine. Now, as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that I don't like living like that anymore. I've always been trying. I've talked about this on my YouTube channel before, the procrastination. Like, why am I like this? Why do I constantly put things off? Not for other people. The work always gets done on time, but for myself. Why do I do that for myself? And I don't know. I don't know why I do that, but I realize that it causes me an immense amount of stress when I am not getting the work done till the last minute. Nobody else even feels that stress but me, and I'm not even needing to do it. Sometimes things have to get put off to the last minute because you're, you know, in the middle of doing something or it's just, you know, timing wise, but the majority of the time, I could spend my time better. I need coffee. So I've realized the type of person that I am is somebody who I make things harder on myself than they have to be. And usually everything ends up being like totally fine and good, but I don't wanna do that anymore because 
I just realized that stress is really, really bad for people. And I'm putting myself under a lot of it unnecessarily by putting things off. The reason I say all of this is because I was chatting with Sam and she's made videos and think about this as well. And she was talking to me about ways that she has combated that and things that her therapist has helped her with as well. And there was something that really, really resonated with me. One of the things that she said in so many ways was like, there is no I should. There is either I'm going to or I'm not going to. It's something along those lines. And I really like that because I realize that I live my life and that I should. And because I'm always thinking about what I should do, I get way less stuff done. So her way to combat that was use your agenda. And I was like, dude, no. We actually went to Target together. We picked out a good agenda. I brought it home and I didn't crack it open. I did for the first like couple of days and then I didn't make it a habit. So in the last like couple weeks, I said like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I cannot live this wake up in the morning and don't know what I'm doing for the day, sit around and think, well, should I film? Should I not film? There's the should again. And so I listened to Sam's advice and I quit saying what I should do. And I just started either doing it or not doing it. And I started writing everything down in my agenda and my God in heaven, if it hasn't been one of the most helpful things that I've ever done. It sounds so simple. It really does write it down. But if you don't have it written down and you don't have a plan for your day of what I've noticed, this is all new to me. I've always been one of those people who just wakes up and is like, okay, what am I going to do today? Well, I should film and then I should do this. And then, well, I have to pick Avery up from school at 3.30. But then before that, if I don't film till noon, then I don't really know because if I don't get that done, then maybe I don't have time. So instead of filming right now, I could just film it tomorrow, even though I know that it has to go up tomorrow night. And then that'll make me have to edit all day tomorrow. So instead of doing that, I sit down the night before, I write in my agenda, what do I have to do tomorrow? And I put it out by time. This is what Sam said. Sam, I love you. You're the most amazing. Thank you so much. And it is writing out by the hour what your day is going to look like. Now, part of that can even be take a break, but knowing, okay, I'm going to wake up at seven. I've been trying to wake. I'm going to get into all of this. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to take a shower, do my hair, drink my coffee start filming at 8 a.m. From 8 until 9.15, I'll be filming. And then from 9.15 until 10, I'm gonna be importing the footage. I'm gonna feed the cats, get everything going. You write down your whole day. And then, so I've been writing in the big things that I need to do. So like, I know at 3.30, I have to pick Avery up from school. So I need to work backwards from 3.30 to know what I need to get done before that. And then what I need to get done after that. And oh my God, if it hasn't changed my life. It's literally changed my life. Literally. It's been the most amazing thing that I've ever done. It sounds so simple and it's like so obvious in so many ways to be like, yeah, you wrote it down and you did what was on your list. Like, wow, big whoop. I know, but it is one of those things where it's like, if you're not doing it and you're just living your life by the, oh, uh, well, what am I gonna do today? That's just kind of the habit that you get used to. You just get used to living in a perpetual state of like, okay, what's on the docket for today? And you don't even have a plan for that day, which normally isn't that big of a deal because if you have a traditional job, you go to work and then you figure out what you're just gonna do at work. And then when you get home, you're like, okay, I need to do the dishes. I need to do X, Y, Z. But if you work for yourself and you don't have a plan, then you're just wandering aimlessly and wondering like, well, what should I do today? Well, I don't know. I know I need to film, but what am I gonna film? Think about it ahead of time, you dummy. I regret putting this wing on. I forgot I wanted to go with a more natural look today. Well, it's too late now. So what I've been doing is waking up way earlier. Now, I always wake up at no later than 8 a.m. every single day. Wow, that's the worst line ever. When I worked at the vet, I had to wake up at five o'clock every morning and it was never a problem. So I kept that in mind and thought, all right, well, you did it when you worked at the vet, you can do it again. So I've been waking up and setting my alarm for 6.15 and I like to be up out of bed by like 6.45. And generally what I used to do is go downstairs, I would drink my coffee, I would feed my cats, I would check my emails, deal with some work and stuff like that. And I kind of wouldn't get going till a little bit later in the morning, not anymore. So I am immediately waking up and taking a shower before I do anything. Because I would generally do that after. I would go take care of all my other crap. But now, shower, hair, skincare, jewelry. I'm trying to get into the habit every day of getting myself ready first thing in the morning so that I'm ready for my day, which is a kind of a serial thing that YouTubers can get stuck in is not getting ready. But I'm wanting to get into the habit 
now of wake up, get fully ready like I'm gonna go to work and then I'm good for my day. So if anything does come up, I'm ready to go at any time. That sounds so basic, I know. And it was for many years for me. Like I literally have only been a full-time YouTuber for like two and a half years. For that, I've just working tons of different jobs. In the midst of when I'm procrastinating the worst and not taking care of myself as best as I should, I'm also realizing that I was neglecting like skincare and caring about my appearance in any way. And so I'm trying to do the opposite of that as well. So I'm wanting to wake up early, get fully ready in the morning before I do anything. And it's been such a big helper in my self-confidence and making me feel better about what's happening in my day. And then I'm doing what Sam suggested and I'm writing everything down by the hour. and. And wow, it's so crazy how that can make that big of a difference, but it really does. Like I have noticed that my days are way more productive and I don't feel like I'm missing anything because if it's not on my list, I don't need to worry about it. Because again, it's getting out of the I should and what should I be doing and what you should be doing is what you wrote down on your list. And if you can't get to it, move it to the next day or figure something out. But that is like one of the most helpful things is letting go of like the feeling of inadequacy because I feel that often like, oh, these are beautiful. Damn. I feel inadequate all the time. I feel like I'm forgetting something or like I'm just not doing enough, but I am doing enough and I need to remember that it's okay to just do a few things in a day. And now I don't have that feeling of inadequacy anymore when I'm just crossing the things off my list, getting lots of things done. I really got in a bad slump last week where I was feeling like, you know, I'm just not doing as much as I could be doing to feel like I am a productive person in my day. And I read an article from Forbes actually, and it was talking about ways to find more hours in the day and that we have a enough, but a lot of us just misuse our hours in the day. And I was like, dude, that's so me. One of the things that was really helpful was talking about half work is what it was saying. Half work is essentially like you're in the middle of typing out an email and then you scroll over and check Twitter halfway through. So you're not fully engaged in the thing that you're working on. Instead, you're only half working on it. And I find that I'm really bad at half work. That's something that I notice that I don't usually get into like a flow state where I am fully engaged in the thing that I'm working on and only working on that. It was giving some tips of like, you know, do 90 straight minutes of work and then take a 25 minute break. It was saying that like our brains really have the only the capacity to focus really strong for like 90 minutes and then we need to take a break. And and what a difference it makes to just listen to those rules and try to make it habit. That's the thing that I've been trying to work on is make these positive things habit by doing them every single day. And even if I don't want to, I need to because it's not gonna become a habit unless I am really consistent about it. And so that's been the goal for the last few weeks is to make these really positive things a habit in my life. And I feel like I'm starting to form new habits, which has been really good because I've been doing this for about a week and a half, I would say. and it's such simple stuff, but like every single night, it doesn't matter if you don't want to, do your skincare routine. <laughs> Skincare routine is something I'm really bad at and I want to get better at it because it makes me feel good to treat myself to something that's nice. Treat yourself. Because a lot of times I always remove my makeup before bed and I always wash my face. A lot of times I'll just completely skip over the skincare step because I'm like, eh. But why? It takes like five minutes. So I've been moisturizing, putting my eye cream on. I've been using the Tatcha Silk Peony and I actually feel like it's making a difference. I don't know, even if it's not, it feels really nice and it makes me feel like I'm treating myself and I'm taking good care of myself and that's really important because I find it's really easy for me to spiral into negative thoughts about myself and I think that's really, really unhealthy. I don't like it. I don't want to be like that. These lashes are so Stunning. These are queenie. They are the perfect curl. They're the perfect like density. Damn it. They are stunning. Wow. These might be my new favorite lashes. I literally just said that about the Huda Beauty ones. So anyway, I know that for a lot of people, they do this every single day, but for somebody like me, who's a serial overthinker, who's somebody that always puts things off to the last minute and doesn't put myself first, I always put everything else first and I'm like, I'll deal with it later. And then I stress myself out by dealing with it later. By taking the time and giving myself the grace and being like, okay, you need to wake up earlier so you can get all this stuff done. Cause I'm a morning person. I don't know about you guys. I'm not a night person. I'm a morning person 100%. If I wake up at six, I can 
could be the most productive from six until like nine. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm the most productive. Waking up is a little bit difficult, but once I'm up and out of bed, like I'm good to go. But I'm 100% a morning person and always have been. Night, I get a little bit grumpy and tired. But I've been trying to get to bed at a more decent hour, wake up way earlier, and it's crazy how much more work I can get done in that early morning hour than I was able to get done in like the later hours of the day. It's so nice to be able to wake up extra, extra early and get all of this work done and then look at the clock and it's like just 7.50 and you're like, I I've already finished editing a video and it's not even eight o'clock in the morning. It's the most incredibly freeing feeling ever. Plus the sun is going down much, much earlier now because it's daylight savings, it's winter in Washington and the sun is going down at like 3.30 p.m. So it's really nice to take the most advantage of the sunlight that we've got. These lashes are honestly unreal. So Sam's advice that her therapist I think gave her and that she now has passed down to me is the most invaluable, helpful piece of advice I think I've ever gotten as far as actual tips on how to actually manage time better and feel like you're getting the most out of your day and not beating yourself up for not being able to get to something or be able to do something because that's the kind of person I am because I was really living in the whole space of the what I should be doing versus what I was doing and it's the most unhelpful waste of time because it wasn't getting any work done to sit there and beat myself up about what I should be doing it was making me sit around and think about that all day long versus actually doing the things that needed to get done. So now I've been sitting down at night, winding down with my cup of tea, which I am still loving. And I've been writing into my agenda every single night what I need to get done the next day, all the important things, and then filling in those time slots and actually working to that instead of being like, well, I don't wanna do that. It doesn't matter if you don't wanna do it, just do it. Cause I realized too, I usually hype up how long things are gonna take in my head because I was doing them at half work. Instead of sitting down and really focusing on something, I was doing it at half capacity and then being like, God, editing takes like eight hours. Well, yeah, if you check Twitter every 15 minutes, it sure, certainly will take eight hours. But if you don't and you just get to work and you quit stopping every few minutes to check on, you know, what's going on here or check your emails or respond to things. And if you just, you know, keep going, the work gets done so much faster. Like this video that you guys are watching right now was filmed last week which is so rare for me, but I'm really trying to make it a point to get myself caught up so that there's no more last minute stuff. It took me almost 32 years, not 32 just yet, to realize who I do and do not want to be. And I, you know, I think it takes a long time to develop a habit. And I'm the type of person that I've been developing this procrastination habit for 30, almost two years. And to cut it out is gonna take a while, but I've been keeping up on it every single day and just not allowing myself to say like, oh, I don't wanna do that. Well, it doesn't matter if you don't wanna do it, you have to. So if any of you are like me and you find yourself stuck in the rut of the same stuff over and over again, maybe take Sam's advice, maybe get a planner or a notebook of some kind or use the calendar in your phone or something and make sure that you are writing down everything that you need to do and stick to your planner. And I write in there too, like make lunch because she said that in her video, I believe that it, she was like, write down everything you need to do. And I was like, okay, I don't have a mom. So Sam, you're like my mom. Um, She really, gives me solid advice and it's interesting because she's so much younger than me so it really makes me feel bad. Sometimes you just need to hear it from somebody else who's gone through it and who understands and uh, Sam is that person for me. She really gets it, she really understands and uh, has really helped me to feel like I wasn't just being a lazy piece of shit, I was just misguided in what I needed to get done in my day. And that one tip of there is no should, there's only I'm going to or I'm not, is like life changing for me. Because if you think about it, if you sit there and think about what you should be doing all day, you're not doing anything. So you either decide I'm going to do that and I'm gonna go do it right now, or I'm not gonna do that today. And then all of that question in your mind of like, well, I know I should be doing, it doesn't exist because if you should, then do it. And if you shouldn't, then don't do it, <laughs> you know? So it's uh, been the most amazing freeing thing for me to get that out of my mind and uh, 
wow, what a difference it's made on just how I feel throughout my day. Going from being somebody that's very negative thinking and has negative self-talk to like, I actually did so much today and I'm really accomplishing things and I am not feeling like a total failure, which a lot of days I feel like, even if it's not true, it's really hard to tell myself that because I'm just one of those people that I always see the greatness in what everybody else is doing and I really look at myself like, wow, you're the fucking worst. I swear to you, I know for a literal fact that it's here. I used it yesterday. Where in the whiskers? So maybe that can help you. Let me know if you guys are like me at all or if you're one of those really organized people and you know, any tips that you find that are like super helpful for you, for anybody in the comments that might be reading, at least for me, Scheduling out my days and sticking to that schedule has been amazing and it's so interesting how you can change as a person like when I was working at the vet, I would get the comment of like how I was one of the most organized people there and everything had a place and everything in its place. And I was one of those people, if I wasn't working, I was organizing. And if I wasn't organizing, I was busting my ass working. And then when you start working for yourself and your account, that is the thickest brow, what is happening? When you're working for yourself and you're accountable to only yourself and you don't have somebody looking over you to be like, hey, what did you get done today? It's more difficult because you're your own boss and you're like the one that's responsible for keeping yourself you know on task and motivated and when you work from home and you're surrounded by kitties and the place that you relax in and have to go back to it's not the most motivating place to be i'll be honest but you know what Separating my workspace from my living space has been helpful too. You guys know I'm, I did create like an office space for myself last year or this year. Those are good. This is the CoverGirl Soft Brown Brow Pencil. I've been using the Espresso one by NYX. They're literally very, very similar, but I'm liking that. I'm gonna use Glossier Boy Brow now. I haven't used this in forever. So that's been what I've been up to for the last couple of weeks is making sure that I am getting my life completely sorted out and feeling like I am doing everything in my power to make sure that I am doing what is the most healthy, getting my shit together and pre-filming and getting videos ready. There are a lot of YouTubers who kind of do things day by day like I was doing them. Like, okay, I need to get videos filmed for this week. So I would film them on like the weekend beforehand then be editing them during the week and uploading them the day that they go up. While that works and it's worked for me for a long time, I wanna be one of those YouTubers who has videos pre-filmed for a while out and then you know you're scheduling them out and you're getting things done way ahead of time so that there is no more last minute because this week's video is already done scheduled uploaded ready because i did them last and then next week i'm working on those so that you're weeks ahead instead of this always right on the day that things are due you already have those done you know and that may sound like not that big of a deal but man it's changed the game for me and i'm trying to keep up on it i'm not claiming victory yet i am still new to this as of the last like week and a half but i'm really trying to keep my momentum going on this so that i can give myself a break and breathe easier and if anything really does come up which i've had a few things come up last minute it doesn't matter because my work's already done it's not like something's being put off because of it and uh wow what a difference that makes talked the entire video about writing in a planner. Will this video even be worth uploading? You know, maybe it'll help somebody, maybe not. But it's crazy how much it's changed everything for me. And I've been taking time to enjoy things that I really like. Like I've really taken a new liking to just winding down in the evening with a cup of tea, which sounds so simple to so many people, but I've recently only started liking tea. I haven't tried it in a long time because I didn't really think I liked it. And Wow, it's become like my new daily favorite thing. It's so nice to have that in the evening, get off my phone, write in my planner, have my tea, and enjoy winding down for the evening. And it really does help me sleep better. I just feel like overall, I'm becoming an adult. <laughs> crazy. Feels really, really good. Did that huge giveaway last week, I think, when you guys are watching this, it was last week, and shipped out 12 huge packages, and it's so nice to be able to give that makeup to people that are really going to enjoy it. I'm definitely going to be doing more giveaways in the future because it was really, really nice to just like fill up these boxes, and it gives more people the chance to win, and then I can just ship them all out at once instead of doing like small little giveaways here and there. I think if I keep doing them, I'll probably do these bigger giveaways. Every Every now and again. This is JK Magic from Charlotte Tilbury and then this is the Kim KW. Charlotte Tilbury has been like my everyday lipstick lately. I just am loving them so much. 
I'm gonna keep my eyes pretty much just like this and just put some mascara on the bottom and then I think that's it. Easy, simple, good everyday makeup. Love these lashes, ColourPop did it. All right, and that is the makeup all done. Thank you guys for chatting with me. Hopefully this video wasn't too weird and that it actually made sense. I feel like I was kind of all over the place. Maybe that's because I haven't eaten breakfast at all and I've only had a gigantic bowl of coffee essentially so maybe that's why I feel a little bit like weird maybe it's helpful for you to know that like getting things done that it's really just habit forming and I'm not habit formed yet I could be sitting here talking about this right now and then totally fall off track in a couple of weeks and be like oh yeah I'm not doing that anymore I'm really trying not to let that happen because that's been how I've lived my life and I know what results I get when I do it that way and while it works and the jobs get done, <sighs> it stresses me out. And I think that living in a constant state of like last minute is, it can't be good. <laughs> it can't be good for me. So I'm trying not to do that. Trying just to do all of the things that I know are healthy for me, even if I don't wanna do them. And now I'm kind of enjoying doing them. So that's, I think the habit forming. So hopefully, I don't know how long it takes to form a habit. I think they said like 21 days or something. So we're coming up on it in a couple weeks. I'll let you know how things are going, but I'm really at this point going strong. I'm two weeks scheduled out on videos, which is an unbelievable feeling. It's never been me. <laughs> yeah, it's been really, really, really nice. And I'm feeling very happy and very hopeful and very excited that if I can keep this up and push this into 2020, that life will remain something that I feel like I have control over instead of something that I feel like I'm always trying to catch up to. You know, that can be a really crappy feeling to feel like you can never catch up. And right now I feel like with cleaning this entire room and getting everything organized and getting my life organized, Organized and my schedule organized and getting ahead. Wow, what a sigh of relief it's been. So hopefully I can keep up on it and make everything a habit. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe if you have not yet. And I will see you at my next video. Bye. Now I'm kind of enjoying do things. Do eh? <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah, I know. And I'll be like, well, you're a real shit bag. And I'll be like, I know you already said it. Fuck. Better. We're in the Fucking hell.